Hi, I'm Peter Matavish, and welcome back to another DC tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to do, as you see in the title, the Connect Sections mock question from this year's mock. So the a request to do this because I showed it in the uh, last video I put up and I might as well go through it. So it says a 3D graphic on the right shows modern shopping centre design for the building includes a conical surface which has a cut as shown. Figure B2 below shows the elevation and incomplete of the incomplete cone. So it asks you to A, draw the given elevation of the structure and then B, Use a focal sphere to find the focal point, vertex and directrix of the hyperbolic cut surface. C. Determine the true shape of the hyperbolic cut surface. And then part D. Project an end elevation. Okay, so we were saying that something like this might come up in the exam where you have your conic section, you have your cut surface and you'll have to find the true shape first. They don't give you the end view where you can get your points off that for the true shape and just do an auxiliary review of it. So we'll start off with the elevation. Scale this one to 100 and you're doing an end view and we're going to be projecting down to the left here with the cut surface so keep it to the centre and up near the top of the page. Okay, so that is our elevation done. So set so does first part part A, draw a given elevation of the structure. Now B is using the focal sphere to find the focal point, vertex and directrix of the hyperbolic cut surface. So basically, it's, that's all part of part C, which is says determine the true shape of the hyperbolic cut surface. You're gonna draw the true shape of this hyperbolic cut surface over to the left hand side. In order to do that, you need to find the focal sphere to find the focal point, directrix and vertex, okay? And to find the focal sphere, the focal sphere will be tangential to the cut surface as well as the edge of the cone. Okay, so that's giving you, you see here, an angle here. So if we bisect this angle, that will give us a center line going through the center point of the focal sphere. Okay, and the focal sphere then will also be on this center line here. And so once they, the two center lines cross, it gives you a center point. So bisect this angle, find your center point, draw on the focal sphere. So I'll fast forward through that. Okay, so that was our bisecting line here, and it is a center line and it's going to the center point. That has to be the center of your focal sphere. Now, to find the radius of the focal sphere, it has to be tangential to the cut surface and the edge of the cone. So, if you put in um, your a line perpendicular to the edge here from the center to find the point of contact, it'll give you the radius. And you do that for either one, okay? So, you can go perpendicular to the edge here to find the edge of the cone to find your radius, or perpendicular to the edge here. So I'm going to go perpendicular to the cut surface because I'm going to use it my just with Z-square for that and once it's set up we can use it for the true shape. Okay so that's now our focal sphere and it said to use that to find uh, the vertex focal point and directrix of a hyperbolic cut surface. So to use this to find those points, we're going to project down here to the right hand side. And you project perpendicular to the edge of or perpendicular to the edge of the cut surface. So you see you've got that set up already, thanks to the to find the radius there. So I'm going to project the cut surface perpendicular to it out here to the left hand side. And I'm just going to put in the center line parallel to the cut surface there down here through the middle. So that would be the axis. That would be the axis of our hyperbola. Now how do I find the vertex and the focal point of that hyperbola on the center line? You project the center of the focal sphere down to the axis. Same angle you projected the two top points here to find your center line. You project it down to your axis line, okay? So the center of the focal sphere down here, and that'll give you a focal, uh, your focal point. The apex of the cut surface here will be the apex of the hyperbola. 
So this is your vertex on the center line, and then I'll show you how to get the directrix. So we project those down now. Okay, so there's our vertex, which is the top point of the cut surface, which will be the top point of the parabola. The center point of the focal sphere projected down to the center line is your focal point. Now to find, to find the directrix, we need to extend up our cut surface here first off. And just like we did here to find the radius of the focal sphere by getting the point of contact between the focal sphere and the cut surface, I need to find the point of contact between the edge of the cone and the focal sphere. All right, we need to find the point of contact here. So we need to go perpendicular to the edge of the cone. Okay, so by going perpendicular to the edge of the cone, I'm getting the point of contact between the focal sphere and the edge of the cone here. Now, I bring that point across horizontally, parallel to the XY line, and where that cuts the extending uh, line here from our cut surface, that's giving me the directrix, and then I project that back down to find the directrix in our view here on the left-hand side. So to get the line you just see, in order to draw the true shape uh, of this cut surface, normally they might be given to you, or um, if not, you can do your own scale. But in this case, you have the focal point and you have the vertex. And you know that from directly above the vertex uh, to the line you just see, if you went down 45 degrees, you'd get the focal point. Okay, in this way, we're going to work backwards. So we're going to go 45 degrees from the focal point up to you hit directly above the vertex and that will give us a point on line instricity then we join it back to the directrix and that will give you the line instricity so let's go 45 degrees that's 45 degrees in here that gives you a point on your line eccentricity and we join that back to the vertex I'll put it in here with a different color just so it stands out So that's your line of eccentricity. Once you have that now, it's only a matter of following the steps to find points on your hyperbola. Now you know what's stopping here. And we projected that line down, so it'll stop along that line somewhere. So we might have to do an extra point to cut past it. Now to find points on it, we need to divide up this line into an equal number of parts. So we'll say, um, maybe go down every 10 mil. We don't need, sorry, we don't need it to be an equal number of parts. It just needs to be divided up. So we can divide it up into 10 mils. Okay, maybe put an extra one outside here and maybe put one in between the vertex and the focal point. So let's mark in a few points. So you can see there I marked an extra one outside here just to make sure our hyperbola does cut down to that baseline, okay? So I'm going to go through one of the points and I'll fast forward through the rest. So I'll, I'll go through step by step how to find a point on your hyperbola using your easterly line and then I'll fast forward through the rest. So we'll take one of these outer ones here just so because you might not be able to see it too much detail on that one inside there so first thing you do is you project your point up to the line it's interesting you also need a line going straight up from the focal point so this is my point here I project it up to hit the line it's interesting I'm going to project it back to hit the focal line so at the same angle as that axis. Now put the pin of the compass at the focal point, the lead at the height I'm after finding there, and I will rotate that down to the original line. And now I have a point on the hyperbola. So I'll run through that again. I projected a line up from the focal line, a focal point. I projected one of my points up to the line of centricity. Projected that back to the focal line, put the pin of the compass at F, led at the new height I found, and I rotate it down to my original line. And that's the same you do with all the rest of the points. Just project them all up to the line you search, see, project them back to the focal line, and then rotate down to your original line, and it'll give you a range of points. And again, do one side of the hyperbola, then project those heights back to the right hand side because they're going to be symmetrical. Okay, and make sure you do a full from the vertex all the way down to this baseline here. So I'll fast forward to the right.
Okay, so that is the true shape of the hyperbola done. Now, uh, I tried, or I did this question with my own class just after the mocks, and the width of the hyperbola, so we say we get half, we get that radius there, it's supposed to fit in within the end view, which is going to be the same, same size as this cone here. So you see here, the base point isn't actually, it's too big. Uh, it's further, it's higher, it's wider than the radius of the cone. So, and the same thing is happening in here. Now, looking back at the stages, there's nothing, I can't see anything wrong there. So, I'm assuming that with the mock questions, you, you do get mistakes. Sometimes they're not fully thought out. And once you do the question yourself, do the solution yourself, some things don't work out. So, I'm assuming that that's the case here. Okay, so, this is part... C done, the true shape of the cut surface. The last part now is part D, so project an end elevation of the truncated cone. So you can project your height from the elevation over to the right hand side to do an end, end view of it. Your points here on the curve, which you're going to see in the end view, need to be projected back up to the cut surface and they'll give you your heights then in your end view. So I'll do the main section of the end view first and maybe project those heights up here and across and I'll show you how to put in the curve then. Okay, so that's the heights brought over. This top point here was your vertex. Now, I didn't bring over all the heights, so you see here I brought over every second one. So I didn't bring over this one and didn't bring over that one. And it is right at the base, so it should be touching at the edges here and be in line with the cone. So to get the width, this is a true shape. And even though when you're looking in at the end view, it's tilted down, the width will still be the same length. Okay, so the distance from your center line to a point on the hyperbola would be the same on the end view. So the vertex is the top one here, so I'm going to get the distance from the center line to this point, mark it either side. Now, the last ones will end up being bigger, but I'm going to try and blend it in to make it look as right as it should be. So I'm going to mark, get the distances from the true shape here and mark them in on the end view, and I'll fast forward to this. Okay, so you see here already our first point, so this is our first point here. Our second point is almost outside, so I'm just going to put it on the inside there. And I'm just going to keep it tangent to the edge of the cone going down, but the last few points will be outside. So again, I'm assuming that's a mistake with um, a mistake with the mock question itself. Okay, so I'll just draw that in. Okay, so that is the end view done with our true shape over here on the left hand side. So again, with the mock question, uh, so twice now that has turned out uh, wrong for me. So I'm assuming that it's a just because it's a mock question. The mock questions aren't taught out as thoroughly as the exam questions are. So that would lead to maybe the mistakes here. But the main thing to take away from that is if you're given a truncated cone like this with uh, a cut section, to find the focal sphere, you have to bisect the angle that the cut and the edge of the cone makes to find the center of the focal sphere. The center point of the focal sphere is, if you project that down, will be where the focal point is. The top of the cut section here is your vertex, and to find the directrix where you're going to draw your line with eccentricity from, you must find the point of contact that the focal sphere makes with the cone, which is here, and project that horizontally across till you find a point on the cut surface and extend it up to meet it and project that back. After that then just put in your line electricity and follow the steps to draw the um, true shape. So the steps there are correct, it's just I'd say the question itself that's off. So as always I hope that helped and um, if it did leave a like and good luck in your exams and we'll see you in the next one.